Experts say a powerful winter storm is making its way across the United States. Parts of the Northwest saw several feet of snow, strong winds, and rain on Thursday. Here's a look at Bellingham, Washington, where hazardous conditions left some drivers stranded on roads. The storm is expected to head east. Travelers might be impacted headed into the holiday weekend. For more, CBS News weather producer David Parkinson joins me now. So, David, where is the storm headed next? Uh, it is going clear across the country. I think there's uh, 43 of the 50 states. Uh, 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 yeah, 41 of the 50 states, 43, 41 of the 48, um, are going to be impacted all throughout this weekend. So uh, it is really a large storm system. There's two parts to it. So one is that one that is over the sea area, over the Cascades. They really did pick up a lot of snow. There's another two to four feet on the way for the Sierra. So uh, if it's a long ski weekend for you, great. That's good news. The bad news is if you were trying to travel uh, through some place like Dallas, Fort Worth, where they have a big hub, uh, there were lots of delays and ground stops today because of the other half of this storm system that's coming together. Uh, there were some high water rescues, in fact, uh, earlier as well. So uh, a big confluence of events coming together over the next 12 hours. So as we saw in the northwest, you had several feet of snow in some areas. I mean, could we see the same perhaps in some areas as it moves east? So a couple feet, no. I think the, the max that we're going to see is probably about a foot. What I've put together here, this is uh, something new the National Weather Service has come out. It's the Winter Storm Severity Index. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to the AMS conference that I went to in Boston for uh, cluing me into this. What it shows you is on a one to five scale how impactful it's going to be. So I want to point out a couple of red spots that's major impacts. So you've got that for Minneapolis and you've got that for Detroit. There you're going to be seeing some of the worst conditions. You're also seeing the red in eastern North Dakota. That's because they have the potential to see blizzard conditions. So it's not the quantity of the snow, uh, but it is going to be the impacts that you're going to be seeing. And then into the northeast, uh, moderate impacts, I think, because of the timing of the storm. So when are we going to see the snowstorm turn to rain? Well, so that's an excellent question. What's going to happen is everything's going to start as snow because it's cold, and then it's going to switch over because there's warm air to the south. So this is a look at the future radar Saturday at 11 p.m. You can see we started as, uh, sorry, Friday at 11 p.m. Uh, that is off by a day. Uh, Chicago started off as snow. It is now switching over to a mix in this picture. You're seeing it's all snow way to the north, but watch that. Now you've got the rain moving in there, and you're seeing it start as snow in New York, and then switching over to rain. So that is going to be happening. Uh, unfortunately, uh, if you're a snow lover, because we've certainly been deprived in the cities this year so far. Yeah, well, so in the New York area, just a couple of days ago, we had a, like spring-like temperatures, and I wonder now, was the storm going to be bringing cooler temperatures to the northeast? Uh, so it's a little bit of an apples to oranges comparison here but it was 74 in Boston to set a record on Sunday. It will feel like negative one. That is a 75 degree difference Gosh. in five days. So, uh, you know, if, if nobody's told you you got to pay the piper for that warmth at some point, this is that. So yeah. uh, that's why we're thinking it's really going to start out as snow because the air is certainly cold enough. Any of those temperatures there, well cold enough to see snow. The problem is, is that as the backside of the storm comes through, we'll nose in some warmer air from the south and things will make the switch over. Fortunately, though, for ski areas that have just been absolutely dying, particularly in New England, uh, you are going going to be seeing snow throughout this storm, uh, so at least you'll get uh, some snow uh, for the long weekend that's so important to the businesses and all of the other people that depend on them uh, for their livelihood in those states. It's a good point, but boy, what a remarkable temperature swing. All right, David Parkinson, David, thank you. There's always Mexico. <laughs> all right. Thanks, David.